You're seeing double digit uh, pre tax uh, profit growth, 14%. Uh, Did it come in more largely in line with your expectations? Yes, it did. Uh, what, what we did is, uh, in our projections for this year, we expected that following on from our tremendous performance last year, this year we would come in within a ballpark figure of 14 to 18 percent. Mm -hmm. And given the kind of investments that we had made in the preceding years, uh, the profit uh, achievement is well in line with our predictions for this year. Uh, so you mentioned uh, your, your assets and the investments that you made in various assets. When do you expect to see return on some of those assets, uh, given the fact that the market is still waiting to see that, that profit flowing through? If we pull, pull, uh, pull aside our numbers, you'll see that uh, we invested in the custody business last year. The full benefit of that will come into this year. We spent about 3.5 billion shillings. Uh, purchasing the custody business from Barclays. Uh, that transaction was completed at the end of last year, in November last year. So the full impact of those revenues will be felt this year. Uh, we also saw tremendous growth in loans and advances, particularly in the second and third quarters of last year. The full impact again will come in uh, in 2011 uh, to 2012. So there is a very good pipeline of uh, revenue streams coming from the investments we made last year. Then if you move into the consumer bank, uh, we spent a significant amount of money uh, refurbishing our pre premium and priority segments. And we have seen good growth in, in customer, customer numbers and in terms of revenue as well. So all looking very good for 2011, 2012. Mm. Well, I mean, you're saying looking good. It seems that a lot of investors, market analysts are talking about uh, Kenyan banks growing uh, to the tune of around 30% this year. Do you think that that is a reachable target for you? I think for us, uh, we've always concentrated on a sustained, sustainable growth over uh, a period of time. So we measure our performance in terms of cumulative average growth rates on three-year and five-year basis and try to hold uh, a benchmark of between 15 and 20 percent. I think 30 uh, percent would be a good figure to achieve, but under the current circumstances, given what's happening in the global economy, inflation, uh, higher food prices, and the likelihood of a political impact on the, the economy this year, I think a 30% growth would be a bit ambitious. Mm. Well, I'm glad you mentioned inflation because we saw inflation ticking up. We also saw an interest rate cut uh, this year, and it's the eighth interest rate cut since December 2008. And just looking at the differences between uh, the uh, lending rate, which is sitting at around 5.75%, and the commercial bank rates uh, falling to around 14% from 14.8% over that same period, obviously there's a massive disconnect in terms of what we're seeing from the central bank to what banks are lending uh, to consumers out there and also just keeping in mind that deposit rates av uh, an average deposit rate of 3.5 uh, or 3.6% when do you think we can start seeing a closing of these massive gaps between the figures that I just uh, alluded to uh, the gaps that you're alluding to Eleni uh, need to be looked at from a different perspective if you're if you're a very good credit and, uh, and you know the very large corporates and multinationals in Kenya today they're easy, they're able to attract uh, borrowings in the region of four, between four to six percent. And that is because of their size, and that's because of their credit rating. So the, the lower down the credit rating chain that you are, uh, you know, the higher the interest rates. If you look at it in terms of the spreads uh, that the banks, uh, the banks have, at the moment they're lying below 10 percent. In 2002, the spreads were 20 percent. So there, is, there has been a significant reduction in the spreads that the commercial banks have, uh, have, been, have been experiencing. Now, if you, going forward, I think the, what we need to look at more important, apart from just the cost of lending, is the access to lending. With two million uh, customers, uh, lend, borrowing customers in the banking industry, there's still a long, long way to go. And so what I, what I expect is that as we remove the barriers to access to credit, in other words, more and more people are able to access uh, bank loans and overdrafts from e either banks or any other financial institutions, SACOs and microfinance institutions, the, the spreads that uh, the banks are experiencing will come down just because the, the volume is out there. What are these barriers? Some of them include you know, information uh, asymmetry, others include you know, the cost of collateral, others include just uh, the cost of bad debts and then the, bank, the cost of banks' operations themselves. Those are the four key ones that uh, if addressed 
we should see spreads and interest rates coming down. Uh, Mr. Tomesi, if I could just allude to as well to the cost to income ratio, uh, increasing to 42% last year from 40% in 2009. Uh, you're looking far better than uh, Barclays Kenya and Kenya Commercial Bank, where they're sitting at around 60% uh, of uh, the cost to income ratio. Do you think you can sustain those levels going forward? And then also, if you could just uh, quickly touch on where you think interest rates this year will go, I mean, in the backdrop of all the, the challenges that you've also been talking about. I think our, our, our core focus has always been to increase productivity and efficiency using technology. So we focus relentlessly on improving the way we work. We, we invest very heavily in technology as a means of reducing the cost of production. Uh, and this space has been paying off very well. Since uh, around 10 years ago when we, started, when we set up our first shared service center for Africa, uh, that has driven through uh, standardization and improved productivity and efficiency and therefore reduced costs. So even though we continue to invest in the business ad in terms of additional customers or products, the, the total cost, the, the marginal cost should not be that significant. So I can see us maintaining fairly comfortable levels uh, in terms of the cost income ratio. Looking at interest rates going forward, uh, my belief is that uh, the interest rates, we should remain where they are perhaps ticking up slowly simply because that the, the interest rate regime in Kenya is driven largely by the central bank's action either in terms of open market operations or lending to government and by commercial banks' appetite for lending. The third one is obviously government borrowing. But we've seen government borrowing, you know, almost the government achieve almost its, its full year target for, for borrowing and therefore there's a lot of liquidity which would keep interest rates more or less where they are at the moment.